So I've noticed I'm here with Dave Anthony uh, from the Dollop Podcast. Check it out, the Dollop Podcast, great podcast about history. Dave Anthony's here with us, and we're going to talk about the lefty journos. Journos. Uh, they're supposed to be on the left. And the guy who I want to talk about today, well, we found out the guy from Think Progress was given attack lines to the Hillary Clinton campaign, uh, attack lines against Bernie Sanders. So if you're an editor for Think Progress and, <laughs> and you're giving attack lines against the progressive in the race, I think you should be called Think Center Right. Right. You can't be called Think Progress anymore. No, I... I mean, it's a catchy name. It is catchy. I Think like Center it. Center Right is not that great. It doesn't, but it's it's more honest. So yeah. here's Matt Iglesias. Now, he's been around for a while saying really stupid things. I'm sorry. I'm just going to go ahead and say you're not supposed to call people stupid, but Jesus H. And here's what I say about Matthew Iglesias. If you, he's a Republican. So I wouldn't mind anything he does if he would just say he was a Republican. Right. And then I would go, okay, that's the other argument. But what he's positioned as is a lefty, and he's not a lefty, and what he does is punch down at other lefties right. who are actual progressives, like what he's doing here. So here he, he, he tweets out, many passionate advocates of the public option do not understand what the public option proposal really is. And so what I tweeted to, <laughs> in response to that was, attention, lots of people advocating for this totally sensible thing are idiots. Right. That's what he's saying. That's what it's all he's saying. Uh, so he could have also said this. This is a made up tweet that I made up for him. Hey, many of those who strongly advocate for airbags don't understand the mechanism for sudden inflation. Yeah, but they know that they they know that the airbag is going to save them, right? Just like the people who go public option is going to save them. No, look, anybody who wants a public option should have to be able to break it down and the way it's going to work in all its tiny little mechanisms or else you can't do it. It's just like the way Obamacare works. I, I, that's why I support it because I can break it down <laughs> at every level and, and I know understand how it, works. how it works. That's why I like it. You know, when John F. Kennedy said we we're going to go to the moon, he didn't know how they were going to get there. No. That's why I didn't no. like it. I didn't like it. So, by the way, he took that stupid tweet out. He did? He deleted if noticed, it? If you notice, this tweet is unavailable. He didn't block me. That's because he re deleted that tweet. He realized it was stupid. Somebody who's also on the right must have told him to take it down because it's stupid because he doesn't listen to people on the left. Well, but there, because there's no way that there wasn't a very smart person out there, uh, you know, knows economics and everything else who wasn't about to respond to that and go, really? <laughs> there it is. This is what's considered lefty journalism. People not only against single payer, they're also they're also demean. But that's the thing. So if here's this is my theory for this election season. You probably heard me say it. If you're to the left of somebody and they disagree with you, the person who's on the right will smear the person on the left, and that's what that is. He's not disagreeing right. with the public option. He's saying the people who are for it are stupid. Right. There's tons of smearing going that's on. Smear, that's a smear. He's not arguing the policy. Right. Him, Josh Marshall, Clara oh, Jeffrey. Oh, Josh Marshall. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a complete smug letdown. And that's what I'm saying. There's a lot of people like that. But these are people I was reading a few that years. That I used to love. And now I'm just like, oh, my God, you're oh, you, monsters. You guys, don't have, you guys don't have a moral center. None. So as soon as power works in your way, you completely sell out and you completely start defending power instead of exposing power. All they want is money. That's, that's all, all well, they care about. this is power, about. money, and that's what this is. This is power and money, and I want to be in the in club. Sit at the table. That's, what, that's exactly what this is. This is neoliberal garbage. I had uh, Clara Jeffrey. And the fact, you know, I always worry that I'm saying something stupid. And then I read <laughs> these guys and I'm like, they don't worry. They don't worry that they're saying some people were saying how, how stupid my idea about the Supreme Court was. Yeah. They don't worry about how stupid they sound on a daily basis. No, they don't because, you know, they get tons of retweets. So, Who's the Joe? Look at that. Was, that was retweeted 20 times by the time I got to it. And he ended up taking it down. It was so stupid. He had to take it down. But 20 of his friends thought it was so smart they retweeted it. Who's the Joanne someone? Uh, Joe Walsh? No, Joanne someone. She's like a, a radio person. Uh, and she she tweets stuff for Clinton that are just clearly lies. Well, you're, that's Cl Cl Clara Jeffrey you were going to talk about? Oh, Clara Jeffrey t put up a tweet the other day of, uh, I think, of she's one of Trump's of daughters. Jones, a mother of Editor Jones. Yeah. Editor of Mother Jones. One of she's Trump's. mother of Editor Jones. She's the mother of Editor Jones. <laughs> one of Trump's daughters talking to Anita Hill and put a caption on it that started with, girl, do I gotta tell you? And she tweeted it, 
and I I looked at it and I just tweeted at her. I said, "Is that the way University Professor Anita Hill speaks?" And she took it down. But that is the kind of fucking liberal racism that they don't even understand that they do all the time. And what this is is uh, demeaning progressives. Demeaning progressives attacking, as usual, the millennials, yep. saying they're stupid, that they want socialism, they and want they don't stuff. understand it when their entire generation has been massacred by capitalism and war. <laughs> American cat the, the version of American capitalism, whatever the f- whatever the fuck that is. I mean, well, it's crony capitalism now. It it's, it's not real capitalism. No. So I, I don't know what you call. What do you call quantitative easing? That's not capitalism. No. That's socialism. That's giving billions of dollars. That's a. Uh, but oh. Oh, by the way, the next big bad, the guy that comes in twenty twenty, he's going to come in and say, "How about a universal income?" Ah, oh. he's going to give away he's going to give away the sink and all those people that dropped off the voter rolls, those people who are no longer on the the unemployment numbers. Where do you think they're <sighs> Huey Long people? Huey Long. <laughs>